My name is uh, Engineer Philip Arusimbi, Energy Package Expert with Nexus Green. Today, I'm showing you what Nexus Green has brought on the market and the products that Nexus Green is using on the mega municipal water and environment solar pumping and irrigation project. And Nexus Green is using solar panels from Jinko. Jinko is one of the best solar panel manufacturers in the world and uh, we are proud to be distributors of uh, Jinko solar panels. In terms of power, we have modules of 475 watt peak, 550 watt peak, 535 watt peak, 540 watt peak, 545 watt peak, and 550 watt peak. The panels are made of uh, the best uh, cells, the efficient, ranging from 13 to 22. Uh, in terms of uh, voltage, the panel voltage uh, is ranging uh, from uh, 40 to about uh, 52 volts. In terms of current, we're having a very high current of about 13 amps uh, from the solar modules. We are able to execute the mega solar uh, water pumping project for minutes of water using uh, the Jinko panels. We also have uh, Jinko pumps. These are three phase pumps. The Jinko pumps are able to offer us uh, the duty points for the various water capabilities. Uh, depending on flow and the head. This particular pump is 26 kilowatt. They are made using uh, a stainless steel, steel. and uh, the, the impellers are modular. You can dis disassemble them uh, in, in terms of, uh, in case you want to do some uh, operation and uh, maintenance. And the, these pumps are equivalent to the common pumps you know. Uh, on the market from uh, Brunfoss and Lorenz. The other products that uh, Nexus Green has bought on the market are the Jinko inverters. These are three phase inverters outputting uh, voltage from 380 to 415. We use them to power the pumps that are being used uh, on the mega solar project. Technology is solar tech. They are hybrid in the sense that you can connect solar alone, that is DC, but you can also bring in AC. AC could be from grid or generator. Pumps will be able to use either DC or AC. That's why they are called hybrid. The port you see here is the GPRS uh, port where you put a SIM card. Uh, the inverter will be able to send you uh, the data, pumping data, that is voltage, current, uh, uh, pressure, flow, uh, drawdown, all the parameters, depending on the sensors you connect on the inverter, the inverter will be able to send them to you remotely and you pick the information on the cloud. The installer will need a screwdriver to open the inverter. Okay, after opening the inverter, the, is the, the inverter is clearly labeled. We have the PV plus and the PV minus. This is where the installer will connect the solar power. Then we have RST. This is where the installer will connect grid power. RST. Then we have UVW. This is where the installer will connect the motor. Uh, in this module is where the installer will connect the sensors. On this module, you can connect a flow meter, you can connect the pressure sensor, you can connect a liquid level sensor, you can connect a sun sensor. Basically, all the sensors are connected on this module, and this information, when you connect this uh, module to the uh, data monitor, can send all that information remotely to the users. You just log in and be able to view the performance of this inverter in real time. I'm seeing a, a, a display panel. What kind of parameters do I like to see? This display module has run button, data, program, enter, and mode, then stop. Uh, for operation purposes, all what the operator needs to do is to press either run, in the case he wants to run the inverter to run the pump, 
or stop. In case you want to stop the running of the inverter and the pumping of the water. For installers, they need to use these other buttons. You need to configure this inverter in order to adopt it to the environment. You need to adopt it to the solar panels that you have installed. You need to adopt it to the pump that is connected to it. You need to adopt it to all the sensors that I mentioned. You need to enter, uh, press the program button and then from the program button there are various parameters there that the, uh, the installer have to use the manual that is provided with each of these inverters and then you will be able to program the inverter. Mm. Since Nexus Green is exhibiting uh, green energy, we are using uh, solar panels to provide electricity that is being used in, in the, these, all these pumping systems. Mm. So we use a solar panel. From the solar panel, uh, we use a charge regulator. This is an MPPT charge regulator. Now the MPPT charge regulator helps to, to control the charging of the batteries. It's a 20 amp MPPT charge regulator that we uh, procure from Jinko, and uh, the charge regulator is connected on the solar modules and then the other end is connected on the battery. So this charge regulator helps us to control the charging of the, the battery, not to either over, uh, overcharge it or over discharge it. From the battery, we connect the auxiliary lighting inverter. We are using Snyder. This inverter helps us provide uh, electricity that is used in these pumping systems. The button is you see here, the main button here basically is this. This is for switch on and switch off. It's the main button that the operators will be pressing to operate this inverter. But there are a number of other buttons that you see here. Ideally, you know, the, the button is there, they are LED buttons that will be lighting depending on the functionality of the inverter. For example, the first button will light when you input as grid power. The second button will light when you connect solar modules on the inverter. The third button will light in the case of any fault. Uh, and uh, the, the last button will light, uh, will indicate the amount of sunshine that the inverter is receiving. On this side of the, the inverter, the first button will show that we care for the environment, green energy. In case uh, we are using solar panel, it will be lighting. The second one will show that uh, the battery status, the amount of power that is remaining in the battery. And then the third one will show that the battery, the inverter is being loaded. And then uh, the, the last button will show in the case the battery power is going down. So the inverter is user friendly. Uh, uh, on the side of the user, he'll be able to interpret the performance of the system by just looking at the LED buttons that are on the inverter. We need this power to power the bulbs for internal use, but also for circuitry lighting. Uh, we also use this electricity to power the alarm systems. The alarm systems are used to provide also extra security to the equipment that is installed in these systems. The equipment that Nexus Green has brought on the market is unique in one way, and uh, we are coming up with uh, several training programs for the installers, but also we are coming up with uh, a training package for B2B for the resellers of this equipment. We shall be in position to train you how the solar panels are wired, how they work, how the solar pumping inverters work, how the auxiliary lighting inverters work, how the batteries are wired. Generally, there's a lot of information in the house here in Nexus Green for you to know how you are going to uh, use the equipment that's being distributed by Nexus Green. Do we have a guarantee, what we call warrant from Nexus Green? We have after sales support. Now, um, I'm glad to mention that Nexus Green is a, a distributor of uh, Jinko products and uh, we are extending warranty to the resellers. Uh, each of the equipment that uh, we are selling uh, on behalf of uh, Jinko has warranty. 
we have uh, for the inverters we have warranty running from two two years to five years. Uh, batteries we have warranty running from two to five years. We uh, for the solar panels we have warranty running from uh, two to about uh, 25 years. After sales support, uh, we shall offer a lot of after sales support to our resellers. We shall, of course, train you on how to install the equipment. In the case of spare parts, we have stocked uh, a lot of spare parts for the equipment. In the case uh, any of the equipment manufacturers, we are in position to provide the, to you the spare parts that are needed to put the equipment to normal operating conditions. So there's a lot of support that Nexus Green uh, is offering to the resellers, to the installers, to the consumers on using uh, the Jinko products that were brought on the market. This is what we had for you today. We are uh, mainly showing you the general equipment that uh, Nexus Green has brought on the market. Uh, in the subsequent videos, we shall be showing you the wiring of each of this equipment and uh, the repairs in the case of uh, troubleshoot. We shall show you how to change the various numerous boards inside these inverters. And uh, we shall show you the operation and uh, maintenance of uh, the equipment that uh, Nexus Green has brought on the market.